awesome. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where behind me, oh yes, we have my brand new Audi RS6 which I picked up, well it was last week now but today we are going for the first proper drive in the car and I want to show you all of the amazing features that is inside this car. I can't quite believe that I, I own it. It's ridiculous. It's uh, my dream car, really. And you're probably thinking, where's the AH33 number plate? It's not on there. Well, we had to take it off because the DVLA, etc. it does take a couple of days to go through. And uh, the moment I'm allowed to put it on, which is in the next sort of couple of days, AH33 will be back on it, but it's quite cool, it's on a 70 plate, so can't wait to go in and show you all the amazing tech. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to the countryside and drive this car properly. And a quick shout out to today's sponsor, I wouldn't be driving things like this if it wasn't for people like Squarespace. A massive thanks to those guys for sponsoring today's video. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my new Audi RS6 Avant. It is so ridiculous, the more I think about it, that this is my sort of new daily. I still have the M8, so if people are asking, I still have it. It's not been sold and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So the M8 isn't here right now, but I do have the M8 and the Audi RS6. And I'll tell you exactly the reasons why I bought it and it will all make a lot more sense in this video. But doesn't it just look awesome? I think it's probably the best estate car you can buy on the market today and it's the best looking this car is a carbon edition audi rs6 you have three different kind of versions you well kind of four you have your audi rs6 kind of standard then you have the launch edition and then you have the carbon edition and then you have the vorsprung edition this is a carbon edition because as you can see it has carbon which goes pretty much well it goes all the way down there which is a very very nice it goes down the side down here and it also if we go to the front it goes around the front splitter just at the front there and it also right there as well and it also quickly opening up the, up the door we get carbon here, here, and on the other side as well. So that's a few of the features. Obviously carbon is, I wanted a carbon addition because I just love the fact of having this part at the back all carbon as well. Another thing I have on this car is it has a sports exhaust and I can tell you exactly why, because it has black tips. So you have massive exhaust, but if it's got black tips, it means that it has the sports exhaust, which makes it just sound so much better. But let's have a little look. look at it from here. I mean, look at it flipping sat there. And when I turned up where I am right now, everyone came out and they went, look at the size of the calipers. They are ridiculous. It sounds good. I am gonna make it sound better. Not quite yet, but it has a four liter twin turbo V8 and this pumps out over 600 brake horsepower. Uh, roughly 159 miles per hour and then you can pay for another option to get it up to I think 160 something and then you pay another option to, to get it up to 189 miles an hour and you probably when they're tuned well over 200 miles an hour probably so they're fast another feature it has a mild hybrid system in it as well so standard on the rs6 you have the 21 inch wheels these are the upgraded wheels so these are the 22 inch wheels are these wheels staying on the car well hmm, i'm not gonna lie uh, more more to come more, more to come uh, but uh, i do like these wheels i think they are very very cool and uh, they work well with this car uh, so those are the upgraded wheels you can also spec ceramics i've not gone for ceramics because i just don't think it's completely necessary another thing which we have which is uh, an option as well is this car how good does it look from the front i mean come on um we've got laser lights laser lights on the front like i say i'm going to try and give you a bit of a demo of the lights in this video so you guys can see it what it's like at night because it is absolutely ridiculous oh just dropped the key that is completely not ideal um but let's try and open it now they, oh okay yeah there you go you got a little bit of a demo there um but the lights are 
absolutely, completely insane. I love what Audi have done as well with uh, the road safety features which they put on this car. That's why the car has a bit of a sort of slant going to the front and it works really well. Let's jump in, let's talk about some of the features inside the car as well because this is where, for me, it gets even better, ladies and gentlemen, when we are in here because this is a very, very nice place to be. Oh look! I've done 229 miles, um, so brand spanking new car. We have these very nice RS seats, which uh, we can't complain about. One thing I expect, which I really like, is the pan roof. I had an option on another car, which didn't have a pan roof, and it didn't have Bang & Olsen, and that's called the Sound & Comfort Pack, so that's something which I've ticked and it's a game changer. You need the pan roof. You also get down here your Bang & Olsen sound system, which sounds amazing. And if it wasn't for copyright, I'd be playing the music for you all. But I love as well on the Carbon Edition, you've got all your carbon down here. And what you have on the Carbon Edition, which you don't have on the uh, launch cars, and that is an Alcantara wheel. Uh, obviously just a small added extra, but uh, we do like it. Obviously the touch screens, the only negative you've got is your fingerprints, but we're not going to go on negatives here. Let's look at the screens, how cool they are. Right, so we have, uh, it's so cool. Let's scroll out. Woo! Now we're in space. I always do that with these RS models. And what I love as well, just how good the front one is as well. Look at this! Ladies and gentlemen, this is insane! I love the little clicking sound which you get when you, uh, when you do press, let's say, car. Climate control, parking aids, driver assist, seats. I mean, it all it all goes on in here. It's uh, pretty crazy. I love the little click that you get, your radio, your phone apps, settings. I mean, we can get the news as well, ladies and gentlemen. If we ever need the news when we're on the road, there we go. We get updated news. I mean, it's got everything in here. It's very, very cool. Drive select is there. So when we press drive select, the little car comes up just there, which is very, very cool. We can go for efficiency, so fuel saving mode, comfort, which I cruise around in, auto, and then you've got dynamic, which opens up the exhaust. Screen, so we have three different screens, one there, one there, and obviously one there. Uh, that is a completely standard Alcantara here. We'll turn your track control off. It is just down here, but we are not gonna do that. There you go, let's get your cameras on. Right there, as you can see, the camera. That's cool! I had no, look at that! That is insane! Oh my God. What? I mean, this car is a joke. That is so mad. Look at all the different angles you can have on it. I only just figured that out. How cool that I got that on camera as well. I do like, I do like this little RS bode here. Press RS. Woo! Look at that. How cool is that? So basically it turns traction control off. You get a different uh, dash. So if you're ever doing a track day, very, very simple, and it will kind of help you out. And I just go there, just like, as you can see. So onboard computer, sports display, lap times, statistic, da 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 da. So naught to 60 times, you name it, you can do it all in there. Oh, it just, flipping out. it takes off. Listen to it. is quick it is quick i can really see what people say you don't really need much else if you do have an rs6 because you know you've got over 600 brake horsepower you've got loads of room in the back you can put your dog in the back literally put your dog in the back and still have everything you've got in it it is a, it's a perfect family car and i was joking by the way when i said i have a kid on the way i actually don't uh, but in terms of family car it would be very, very difficult to get any better than this. The speed of it is, that's one thing as well. It just takes off. And what I like, you can have all that speed, all that grunt, all that, is that an owl? I mean, that's chaos. Um, everything. And then just put it to comfort mode, which I will do right now. So just a couple of clicks on the drive select, go into comfort mode, silence, and the suspension is so 
flipping smooth. I think that's one thing I was a little bit worried about. I was like, mm, what's it going to be like in terms of when you just want to drive around town, when you want to chill out? Obviously, it's got um, the system on it where it uh, shuts, off, shuts off cylinders, so which is better for a sort of fuel economy. Uh, but it is honestly the most comfortable kind of daily driver that I have ever had to just cruise around in. It's it ticks every single box. And with the Alcantara wheel, you've got these really nice aluminium paddle shifts, which are just absolutely perfect. The gear shift as well is instant. I love as well, press the RS mode, bang, the whole dash changes. The car just changed right there. Okay, well there you go, that's how you do it if you wanna go into dynamic. And the whole dash just changes. It tells you exactly when to shift your gear directly in front of you, it flashes. Feels like a race car. Instant gear shifts. It's just awesome. It is just awesome. Okay, let's talk about my plans with it. The M8's not going anywhere, so when people say, oh, he's gonna uh, buy it, he's gonna wrap it, he's gonna sell it, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that, no. My plans are not to sell this car. I know I've said it before when I say that in terms of, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I am gonna enjoy it. How often in your life do you get to own a brand new Audi RS6? Very, very rarely. And I said it on my collection video, and what I am going to do is modify it. That's made no secret of that. I really miss the days of when I owned a Mercedes AMG A45. Mercedes A45 uh, AMG. Um, and I kind of wanted to go back to those roots. Not a camo wrap, but I wanted to go to town on something and do something a little bit quirky. Um, so the wheels are gonna change, splitters, things like that. There's gonna be some uh, seriously cool mods to it. It will be wrapped. Uh, it's not staying as it is. And I also don't wanna do satin black on another car. A track day, why not? I know it handles very well. It goes around corners extremely well. It'd probably be quite good. Not sure how many laps in terms of you'll get out of it, but it probably actually would be quite good. In terms of a cockpit, you have everything where you want it. I love as well, you've got the little red around the start stop as well. You have your virtual cockpit directly ahead of you. You have your, well, your two screens here and your third screen there. And you kind of feel like you're in like a fighter jet. That's the thing, you have so much technology in these modern day cars that even something like uh, an AMG GTR or the old RS6, the, the tech has gone through the flipping roof. You can't even compare them now. Like they are two completely separate cars. Obviously the old RS6 is still cool and what value for money for 40, 50,000 pounds let's say, these, especially the carbon ones, are well over £100,000. So that is the difference. RS models, they seem to hold very, very well, which is the uh, positive in my mind, uh, but these cars are over £100,000. You can pick up a launch edition for under £100,000, but you, could, you will get the sports exhaust, but you won't get things like the Alcantara wheel, you won't get the carbon, you won't get a few things. And then the Volsprung edition, which is the top of the top of the top, that is even more and that's 120, 130,000 pounds. So these cars are flipping pricey, but they are pricey for a reason, because the tech, the speed, the smoothness, everything that goes into it, you can see exactly why they cost this money and they hold that money because you can't walk into an Audi dealership right now. If you said, oh, I want a brand new RS6, order me up one, they'll say, well, that's gonna be here in probably about six months to a year. So, everyone wants them. I've just parked up while well, we're on the side of the motorway. Doesn't it just look insane? I've never seen one on the road personally myself, but it just looks so, so flipping cool. Park there on the side of the road with those 22 inch wheels. I love the privacy glass as well. How good does the privacy glass look with the RS6? Doesn't that just look amazing? And I can't quite believe and get my head around it that that is my daily driver. It just has so much road presence and everywhere you go, people look at it for good 
reason. And the thing which is even more exciting, ladies and gentlemen, it is actually not gonna stay like this. I'm gonna be modifying it and it's gonna look completely different within the next two, three weeks. In two, three weeks, you'll watch back on this video and be like, I can't believe how you picked that up. It looks completely different. We're going to town on the mods. To London we go, and when we get there, I'm gonna be showing you the tech with the light when I turn it on, when I turn it off, and also all the ambient lighting, because at that point, it will be dark. This is it going on. Chaos. Now I'm gonna show you the rear lights, because these are cool. Right, here we go. There we go, how sick is that? And then, when you turn it off, usually they do a little disc, uh, there we go. There we go, we got there in the end. So you go, that is a little tour of the lights. And then I'm gonna quickly show you inside. Look in here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the car at night. Okay, that is chaos. As I said, the Quattro here lights up, all down there. And in the back, ambient lighting for your passengers and then look at it at night in here as well. So like I say, it is crazy in here. Oh my. Anyway, it's currently set on green, but isn't this just the most ridiculous interior you have ever seen in your life? And I'm even gonna zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out, because I wanna go to, wanna go to space. Woo! And when you open the door, you even have Audi Sport, which shines directly on the floor as well. How flipping cool is the tech in my Audi RS6? It is unbelievable, and like I mentioned, I wouldn't be able to drive cars like this and make the content I do if it wasn't for sponsors like Squarespace. Let me talk to you a little bit about Squarespace if you don't already know. Well, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, and if you're looking to start an online business, Squarespace is the perfect place for you with galleries and templates. They make the whole process very, very simple simple and there is also customizable galleries so you can share your images in your own unique way and email campaigns as well so you can engage your audience even better and an events function as well i love the email campaigns personally with the archie hamilton racing newsletter which goes out to all of my uh, subscribers of the newsletter after every single race the email campaigns is mega for that as well all in all squarespace just make the whole process very very easy and what they do they are still offering a 10 percent discount to all of my subscribers if you use the code Archie Hamilton, I'll leave it on the screen and I'll leave it in the description as well. Go and get going and there you go. There you go. That's the first drive in my Audi RS6. It's time to park it up. It has been mega and I cannot wait to share more about it and share all the all the mods which are coming. It actually goes to get modified in two days time. So the car is, uh, yeah, it's going to get modified in two days time and it's going to look completely different. So I can't wait for you guys uh, to be involved in it. Like I say, from my A45, I love doing all the mods and things like that. And we're going to really do that to this car. And we're going to town with it. Don't panic. It's all right. I've got the wrap in my head. I'm not going to milk a video of I'm wrapping my car and I choose the colours. I know the wrap is going. Um, and everything's going to be mad. But I cannot wait to share it with you. Join the journey. This RS6 is not going to look uh, any similar to what it looks now. But I hope you guys love it. I love it. And it's all kind of just sinking in that it's mine. It's uh, just a bit, a bit crazy. But like I say, so much content coming up with it, which is uh, I've got ridiculous stuff planned. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon.